if we think about it, art is present everywhere we go because it is used by everyone to express their feelings, their creativity, their imagination, everything. Something that leaves the insight of who we are as an individual or the type of feelings we have. Art is expressed through many things. For example, paintings, expressed through sculptures, photographs, or it can simply be seen in our daily lives. For example, in nature. This is really important because this teaches individuals the existence of many other ways to see life in a different perception and admire every single detail that is present in life because everything that exists or everything that is there is there for a reason it has a purpose and it's a, and it's important los angeles county museum of art counts with an extensive variety of art pieces created by different artists who focus on portraying different genres with different styles this museum contains art pieces collections that primarily highlight american and european art from the 1900s to the 1960s a piece that is part of the collection of los angeles county museum of art is cliff dwellers who was created by george Bellows in 1913. According to an article, George Bellows was a realist painter who was extremely talented. He was born in Columbus in 1882, but unfortunately died in 1925. His talent led him to be a full member of the National Academy of Design, the founding member of the Society of Independent Artists, and the charter member of the Association of American Painters and Sculptors. His talent was demonstrated in a series of boxing paintings, portraits, landscapes, and seascapes. According to the Columbus Museum of Art, George Bowles was the most acclaimed American artist of his generation. This piece is called Cliff Dwellers, and it was made in 1913. The description it has underneath the painting mentions the following information. It depicts the density and crowds on New York City's Lower East Side on a hot summer's day. The painting made in 1913 highlights the city's explosive population growth. The city grew from one and a half to five million in the 40 years preceding this depiction, primarily due to immigration. In this painting, people spill out of tenement buildings onto the streets, stoops, and fire escapes. Laundry flaps overhead, and the street vendor hugs his goods from his pushcart amid all the traffic. In the background, a trolley car heads toward Vesey Street. Many of the new arrivers are Italian, Jewish, Irish, and Chinese. They're, everyone is crowded in their tenement houses on the Lower East Side. Among them were thousands of years Eastern Europe Jews who found temporary or permanent shelter along streets such as East Broadway. Cliff Dwellers skillfully conveys the sense of congestion, overpopulation, and the impact of the city on its inhabitants. The living quarters of many of the Cliff Dwellers were small, dense, and dark, which is, which is illustrated in this composition. The painting also shows how industrialization had impacted the working class lifestyle at that time. As the description above provided by the museum mentions, if the painting is fully analyzed, it can be seen how every individualist seems to be crowded. The viewer can sense their uncomfortability, the sense of the heat, all the chaos that is occurring since everyone seems to be outside in a panicked way. There are many emotions portrayed such as desperation, sadness, weakness, stress, irritability, and discomfort. The use of colors he used is interesting because they can be seen how the building or a darker color compared to the lighter color of the individual's clothing, which creates a noticeable color contrast. These lines used in the paintings are really important to take into consideration because they are what define the figures of the individuals and the structures of the buildings by creating the shapes. Moreover, the lines highlight the little details such as the emotions, the facial expressions, the actions, the motion, and the realistic appearance of the windows, the balconies, and pieces of clothing hanging from ropes that are tied from balcony to balcony. The lighting reinforces 
and adds value to the realism of the painting. Bello succeeded because he made this painting really realistic, since it makes the viewer feel some sort of connection and probably make them imagine or even feel what and how the individuals portrayed our feeling. This painting enriches our understanding of the world around us, and in fact, this is really culturally significant because it mentions how the painter got inspired by real, by real events based on the population growth due to many individuals from different countries of bribing for temporary or permanent shelter. The meaning this painting addresses is the overpopulation that has been caused in particular cities due to immigrants, and it also addresses the lifestyle of those who immigrate from other countries. The second piece that is part of the museum's collection is called Merskyler Burning Her Wheat Fields on the Approach of the British. This piece was created by an Emmanuel Lotze in 1852. According to an article called Visual Art Encyclopedia, Emmanuel Lotze was born in Germany in 1816 and he had an American nationality. He was really talented as well, and he was really successful. He was a talented painter who was the president of the Dusseldorf Artists Association. He demonstrated his interest and support for Europe's revolutions by creating paintings that served as encouragement for Europe's liberal reformers. Merskyler's burning her wheat fields on the approach of the British description shown with the exact exact same words under the painting in the museum mentions the following. It depicts Catherine Van Rensselaer Schuyler, wife of General Philip Schuyler, setting fire to her wheat fields per General Schuyler's orchard or policy to keep them from the enemy. The British imminent arrival is announced by a messenger in this composition, which La Leutze conceived as a theatrical scene. Merskyler is the central object of attention and the and she is dressed in a red, white, and blue gown to underscore the patriotic deed. The British, the British under John Burgoyne arrived at Saratoga, now called Schuylerville, on September 13, 1777, 1777, and occupied her house, which was then burned down during Saratoga's battle. The first account of this act of heroism appeared in Mir Schuyler and Elizabeth F. Elliot. The Woman of the American Revolution, published in 1848. It was one of the many anthologies of Revolutionary War feminine heroism popular during this period. As the description above mentions, this painting emphasizes an action done by a brave woman since it shows her burning her wheat fields. The character is an important figure and it is considered a legendary figure. This is Culturally significant because this painting portrays a live event that occurred years ago during the American Revolution. This is the reason why she is considered the woman of the American Revolution. In addition to this, she not only listened to his husband to set that on fire, but she also encouraged others to do the same and burn their crops. Well, their, their fields. Lloyd's no, choice. Leutze chose to portray her because she was because he was inspired by all the women rights movements that were occurring during that time. There are combinations of colors, but the colors that stand out the most are the patriotic colors, red, blue, and white, that are shown in Catherine's gown. Those colors are also shown on the boy that is kneeling as he is also wearing a red shirt with blue shorts. And the color of his skin and the color of his vestment contrasts with the white color of the candle and the color of the flame. It is in how he how Leutze used rich color harmonies. The use of lines are seen throughout the painting as they incite the motion, action, and define the figures. The style of this painting is romanticism, and the size of it is 32 by 40 inches. This painting can possibly represent feminism because it presents Mer Schuyler as a woman who is actually aware of what is happening in terms of political events, a fact that was not usually common during that time period. As you can see, 